Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4, a story wealth. Hope you guys are having an absolutely incredible day today. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on our, kind of like our, following the breadcrumbs of uh, vault Tech, um uh, kind of storyline with uh, Mitch Murray and, and whatnot. So we're going to be heading to... Uh, the quest is prepared for the future. So we're going to go find the underwater vault tech employee bunker, which is down. We figured kind of it was supposed to be north west or I'm sorry, south east of Somervale. This was, I guess it's north like um, if it's here, it said it was like northwest of um, to that location. So I don't know exactly i'm guessing it's kind of in here but it could be somewhere in here we're gonna go look for it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way over to hangman's alley and then we're gonna fast travel down to somervale place and then we're gonna go search for it so that's the clue that we have i'm not gonna click on it to kind of follow along um that mannequin kind of scared you what am i sick of <laughs> what am i sick parasites Fantastic. Let's fix that right away while we... Uh, before we get going, I should say. Medicine, antibiotics. Yeah, of course, we're... Oh, I guess I could have used this. I keep on forgetting. You're feeling better. Why don't we drink one of these? Still parched. There we go. Properly hydrated. Beautiful. Whoa. Some raiders not very happy with the Brotherhood of Steel <laughs> right now. Uh, today's episode as well, we're going to be going... I'm going to switch out Heather's gun. Um, it's getting kind of annoying that she has that shaking issue seems kind of odd uh, with the one gun that she has so we'll be probably at some point in time I'm hoping we'll uh, we'll switch the guns over to something that won't have that issue hello Jesus. oh I'm sorry back off is that is that cruel frozen Okay, you're not, you're not ticked at me, are you? Are you good? No, okay, good. <laughs> we don't want to be upset with them. I think we, we have been upset with, or they've been upset with us once before. Heather, put that gun away. There you go. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, let me just reload real quick while we're we're walking here, just in case we come into another encounter. That shaking is pretty annoying. Hello. Alright, just right over this side here. Oh, also, I do want to mention, I am working uh, on upgrading my PC so that we have a little bit better gameplay footage, a little bit better frames per second on some of the things, so... I, I am working on it. I've decided what I'm gonna go with. I'm just looking for kind of sales and whatnot before we, uh, before I I trigger the the purchase of these items. Um, pretty excited about it because I I'm, it's, it's gonna make the video so much better. I'm hoping, uh, and it's gonna help out a lot with getting um, video processed as well. So um, hopefully a little bit higher quality. That being said, if you guys are interested in helping me be able to upgrade my PC, uh, I do have a link down in the description below that has a tipping feature. So you don't have to. Um, I know I mentioned this before, so I'm not saying that, you know, you, you definitely don't have to. Just watching helps out a lot um, and sharing the videos and hitting that like button. Really appreciate it. But if you do uh, feel inclined or want to help out, I do have... Uh, a tip button down below that will help kind of soften the blow on me. Um, 
purchasing these um, upgrades. So appreciate it if you did look at it, but not a big deal. Not if you, not if you can't. So let's see if we can find this. All right, it's gonna be now. Hold on. Well, uh, there was a no uh, I bet it wasn't a note, was it? It was a terminal. Hmm. Let me just double check here. The memo. Nope, this was this is to go into that location. Yeah, I don't think there was a I don't think there was one. So this is gonna be kind of a little interesting. It's probably gonna show up on the map, like right this way. There's something there, right? Hold on, there's... What's that, like a heart or something? Something right here that we should check out. I should have probably waited. I'm guessing it's going to be whatever that symbol is down on the map. Let's check out this area. This is kind of like a little... Oh, this is Gunner. I think, right? That's the Gunner logo? Duels? <laughs> I don't see any. Oh, I see... What are the... What are the... The ghouls are fighting something. Scary. Oh. My other turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. I think there's another one over here. Oh, that actually really freaking hurt. There you go, Heather. You do that. You take them out. Uh, okay, just a little cooking shack. Nothing, uh, I don't see anything. Oh, hold on. There's stairs going upstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, no, that's a Minutemen. I take that back. I take that back. I thought that was... I was mistaken. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know why I was m that mistaken because I I know what gunners look like. The gunner symbol. I don't know why. Moving on. We've already kind of went through this place here. I think it was full of swamp people. So this is actually underwater. Oh yeah, 100% underwater. It's not there. Oh God. This is going to be really good for you guys because you're not going to be able to see exactly what's going on. But I'm going under. We're going to go and see if we can't find it. In this dark... I can barely see. Submerged bunker. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can get in somehow. I don't see an entrance. I, is it just completely submerged and we can't access it anymore? Like this looks like, oh, right here. Whoa. Oh, it's literally underwater. How do you do this if you're not in power armor? is interesting. I guess you just kind of get in and get out. <laughs> I guess you don't let you don't spend too much time. There's no way of having weapons unless there's a an area that we can get where there's oxygen. Oh yeah, right here. All right, let's go over here. We're not getting any rads, which is good, so we can stay underneath here as long as we want. Uh, 
Uh, Heather's not with us, though. Oh, my God. Look at all. Oh, we can't grab any of this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, we got water. We should be able to find some water inside the, the vault. So what vault number is this? There's no vault number on there. Well, I guess there... Wouldn't there be a vault number, even if it's an employee? Gather intel on vault tech. Question is, is any alive? Oh. Oh, it's submerged in here as well. I was actually gonna think that maybe it's dry, but I guess the water level being this high. Oh, this is radioactive. Fancy. Okay, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna bring Heather in. Aid, vices, because I think she just probably has a problem going through that door. We're going to start off with this door, reactor room. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to be able to, or if we're going to see anything. Like, did anybody make it to the employee? It doesn't look like it. Oh, this is a note. Counting irregularities. Bob, didn't want to send this communication electronically. I've been reconciling the books and preparing the internal financial statements from for August 2277 and notice a discrepancy. The employee time cards show a dozen employees who have logged hours working on the employee vault. There's no record of them being on the payroll for this project. I did some digging into the payroll re records, and it appears that each of these employees is on the payroll for Vault 114. In comparing the August shipment receiving logs to the purchase order journal, there was also a number of supply shipments that have arrived at the employee vault without corresponding purchase order. All these mystery, uh, mystery shipments seem to have been purchased orders placed by Vault 114. Can you let me know what's going on and how to record these entries and financial statements? Thanks, Janice. So, some discrepancies from Vault 114? Hmm. So, we do have some workstations here. Still. Vault suit. Alright, let's go to the other side now. Conference room. I wish we could turn the power on. I mean, the lights are kind of on, but they're not fully on. Oh, we got some video. It's like kind of around the Commonwealth. Interesting. You would think it's like security cameras for this facility, but no. Uh, server room? We got some terminals. Console meeting minutes. Security log terminal. Okay, let's... Heather, watch my back. Let's read this one first. Intruder alert. Unauthorized act, uh, activation of the vault gear... Door detected. Evacuate lobby. Initiate residential lockdown. Dispatch automated defenses. Use of deadly force authorized. Is that because of us? I wish it would kind of give us a, a time frame. I'm guessing it's us. 4-3-22-83. So definitely people were in here after the bombs dropped. Teleportation protocol. vault -Tec agents shall not be told the location of the vault in case of capture. Teleportation teleportation insertion points in the commonwealth shall be a minimum of four miles away from the vault location 814 2284 basically a year more than a year later enclave frank radio transmission we recently received unexpected radio contact over the governmental vault tech frequency from an organization called it calling itself the enclave 
The governmental code are valid according to our records, and the Enclave put forth an offer of amnesty and unity with the official remnant of the American government in exchange for access to the vault. They claim that our vault passwords no longer match their records, preventing them from extending their offer in person. Yeah, nice try, a-holes. Uh, original, pra uh, original prank, though. Uh, Fusion City Nuclear Storage. Okay, we're talking about Fusion City again here. 526, 2286. So a couple years later. Overseer Lincoln has introduced us to the monitor uh, to monitor the in attack distress frequency from the Fusion City in case their nuclear storage facility is compromised. Why are we helping them again? Hmm. Meddling kids. 1025, 2286. Some kids over at Fusion City, Rusty Wilkes seems to be getting a little too interested in hunting down vault tech relics he's tipped a few off of our sensors at the sites around the commonwealth sending an agent to tail him hmm. 11 6 86 mia agents agent bluff and zuckerhorn never reported in they are third and fourth agents respectively they have gone missing in the past two weeks these disappearances have co coincided with the establishment of a handful of settlements in the Commonwealth recently. Probably just a coincidence. Let's uh, mosey on over to this other terminal here. This is the meeting, council meeting minutes. Uh, 1029, 2077, initial meeting of government co governing council. Overseer Perry started the meeting with the moment of silence for Russell Cass, who gave his life sealing the roof entrance where the water from the Charles River was flooding in. Perry noted that without Russell's sacrifice, none of us would be here today. Council Olson pr uh, proposed that the council approve an additional moment of silence for the friends and family who did not make it to the vault in time. Councilwoman Snow then proceeded to give an update on the structural integrity of the vault. The former street entrance to the reception area appears to have sunken 10 feet below the storage room and is completely flooded. As best we can tell, the nuclear blast triggered an earthquake that shifted the course of the Charles River, burying the vault entrance completely underwater and turning the surrounding Norwood area into a swamp. With the er, exception of the reception room, the rest of the vault was built into solid rock and appears to have no structural damage. We will need to rebuild. Uh, we will need to build an enclosed area to f around the flooded area inside the vault door, as there is no practical method to drain the water. Councilman Norris N Naharis Naharis yeah Naharis uh, then provide an update on communications. We received confirmation of nuclear detonation in New York and Pennsylvania by television news and the reports of several other detonations via radio. Then all communications cut off. Our antenna on the surface appears to have been knocked out. And at this point, we have no communication with the outside world. We have to assume the worst. The council then discussed options for escaping the vault. A motion to dig out uh, of the vault was voted down on the account of the risk of structural integrity of the vault, exposing resident residents to radiation and risk of looters on the surface raiding the food supply. A motion to invest additional personnel, personnel and resources into vault Tech's research on teleportation was approved. So they didn't have the teleportation then. So they were going to be working on it. 11-15-2077, inbreeding and social engineering. So these must be like issues that they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on because they're trapped in here. Councilwoman Lang began the meeting with a report on the vault population. Operation Arc was initiated in the weeks before Armageddon Day. Unfortunately, most invitations uh, to pre-selected scientists, engineers, and research researchers were ignored. The population of the vault is only 96 people, including 28 children. There's approximately 230 to 250 years worth of food, assuming reasonable population growth projections. The magic number of people needed to avoid inbreeding and create a viable population for multi-generation vault occupancy has been calculated by researchers at 160 people. 
they are well under 160 people. However, some social engineers are engineering. It is possible to have this to about uh, 80 people. We have no contact with the outside world, nor do we have a way to escape the vault at present. We and our offspring may be stuck here for centuries. To avoid inbreeding, we will be forced to implement certain mating restrictions, including uh, reproduction must be postponed to later in the woman's uh, fertility period, at least age 34, to create a longer time gap between generations. Two, genetic screening will be required before mating between a given pair is allowed in order to prevent offspring with any harmful recessive characteristics that might lead to increased health care loads and deplete scarce medical resources. Three, all pregnancies will require a test to provide to prove paternity. Four, additional children beyond three per female will require approval on the case-by-case -case basis. The penalty for violating the above restrictions will need to be severe and include forced termination of the pregnancy pregnancy. Oh, geez. After vigorous debate and discussion, the council voted to approve Lang's proposal. The council next discuss, discussed and approved a plan for food rationing. That's going to be kind of scary. You know, knowing that you're going to be stuck here for a very, very, very long time. The next entry is 515-2241. Much, much later on. Teleportation. Council Gordon began the meeting with a report of his team's research into human teleportation. If our ancestors has, had known it would take over 160 years to perfect, they would never have approved the research into teleportation. The early progress with teleportation photons led to false hope. Again and again, we always seemed to be one step away from the breakthrough, breakthrough we needed, but we finally cracked it. Wearing a receiver on the subject's chest Yesterday, we successfully transported a member of my research team from inside the vault to the surface above and teleported him back safely. This changes everything. We can now send scouts out to assess the habitability of the Commonwealth. Our first order of business should be to repair the antenna on the surface so that we can receive and monitor communications from the outside world. The council discussed and approved Gordon's proposal forming a scouting intel division hereafter to be known as Vault Tech Econ. Uh, a couple months later, scouting reports. So Councilman Grayson began the meeting. Now, our Councilwoman uh, Grayson began the meeting with a report on Vault Technicon's scouting missions. As we hypothesize, the immediate vicinity of the vault has no longer dangerous ra uh, radiated, although the background radiation is still above safe levels for a long-term exposure. Pockets of more intense radiation are common, and the surface water is not safe to drink. Scouts will need to carry supplies of Radex with them at all, uh, with them on all future expeditions outside the vault. But hazmat suits are unnecessary. Our old maps of the Commonwealth are largely useless. The Charles River no longer follows the course it is used to, um, and the area surrounding our vault is a swamp. Nearly all pre-war roads are disappeared or are no longer passable. We heard rumors of super mutants, ghouls, and death claws confirming the genetic team's hypothesis about mutations due to extended radiation exposure. I got a question, where does the death claws, what like what what mutated into a death claw? <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know that. We know about super mutants and ghouls, but it's not humans, right? Uh, the good news is that human civilization still uh, still survives. There are settlements at Fenway Park, now called Diamond City, Scally Square, now called Good Neighbor, uh, and Bunker Hill. Yeah, we've never, we haven't run into Bunker Hill yet. The old Inatec military installation over the near mil, uh, near Millis uh, MA survived, or Massachusetts survived, and has been turned into a new Las Vegas-style tourist destination called Fusion City. Seems like a nice enough people, although their dress code could use some evaluation. Hold on a second. Near Millis. That doesn't help us. I want to know where that's at. <laughs> I want to know where Fusion City is. Uh, 6 uh, 6 2 
year later. Uh, isolationism versus trade. This council meeting is called to decide the following issues. One, whether the vault should make its presence known to the Commonwealth and begin trade and, or remain hidden. Two, whether council should inform the general vault population of existence and extend uh, extent of life on the surface or maintain the current position that the surface is unhabitable, nuclear ravage wasteland with no realistic hope of existing outside of the vault. The council voted to maintain the status quo, keeping the vault closed and the general population unaware of the life of the surface so as not to create panic and unrest and to protect jobs from outside competition. The majority or the minority um, opinions uh, summarized by Councilman Dowles note the follow uh, the following. Food stores will begin running low by the end of the century. Isolationism is not a sustainable long-term strategy. Better to engage the world now when we are not yet desperate for food and supplies and have a value technology, teleportation in, uh, with which to trade. Using fake radio transmissions to convince vault dwellers of the hopelessness of life on the surface will eventually backfire. The longer vault dwellers are involved in scouting missions to the Commonwealth, the harder it will be to maintain the illusion about life on the surface, leading to a class system of those in the know versus those out or on the outside, and potentially a police state if suspicion and dissenten uh, dissentation grows. Dissension, thank you, grows among the general vault population. My, my brain knew what to say. My mouth didn't. <laughs> it happens all the time. The chairwoman thanked Dowles and, uh, for sharing his unsolicited opinion. The meeting was a Wow. I mean, these were really important, you know, issues that they were trying to hash out here. 315, 2282. So another, like, four, 40 years. 40 years. The Sydney incident. Oversee, overseer Elaine uh, Redding has called in this emergency council meeting to address what is being referred to as the Sydney incident. On March 13th, a three-person recon team was teleported to Dunwich uh, Boris Quarry to search for drilling equipment. Shortly after arrival, the team reported encountering a non-hostile citizen called Sydney, um, who was investigating the mine for paranormal activity. The events that followed are unclear. It appears the group of raiders showed up at the top of the quarry and opened fire on the recon squad. Agents Stark and, and Cinder were taken out by snipers and lost contact with Agent um, Terry shortly there, uh, thereafter. When the mission control attempted to teleport the agents back to the vault, the only person who showed up was Sydney. She claimed to have grabbed the teleportation transportation off of uh, Tarly's body, and as a result, we teleport Sydney back instead of Tarly. Sydney was kept in holding area while Mission Control contacted the council to figure out what to do with her, as Sydney was the first surface dweller to infiltrate the vault since the Great War. There was no protocol to deal with such an event, nor did Mission Control anticipate Sydney's locking, uh, lock picking skills. She escaped the holding area and proceeded to explore the vault. Talking to residents about the life on the surface. Oh boy. By the time security realized Sydney was gone, reapprehended her, and moved her to the more secure holding cell, she was already talking to dozens of residents. Dozens of residents. The council is now faced with deciding the fate of Sydney and, and by extension reopening debate on policy of remaining hidden to the Commonwealth and managing perception of the vault residents regarding life the surface. Overseer Redding and the Councilman Pink, uh, Pinkman have proposed the following plan. Release Sydney back to the Commonwealth, reveal other uh, ourselves in open trade with Commonwealth, share the entire story with the life on the surface with the vault population. Council Councilman Lincoln and Councilwoman Firing have proposed the opposite, arguing the opening trade with Com Commonwealth presents too many risks, including but not limited to violence, radiation, and disease. Releasing Sydney back to the surface would potentially reveal Vault-Tec's existence to the Commonwealth, forcing our hand. 
the only safe option is to execute execute her. Overseer Redding re, uh, maintained that the that the genie cannot be put back into the bottle. The truth about the surface has already been circulated. The vault resident will want to see the surface for themselves. Attempting to deny the truth at this point would only lead to growing dis, uh, dissent, potentially requiring uh, brutal enforcement tactics against our own people to squash the truth and maintain order. We have already built the machinery to build uh, to turn the lobby area into a teleportation hub for travel through the Commonwealth. All we need to do is open it and begin trading. Doing so would eliminate the need for food ra food rationing and restrictions on whom can marry, whom one can marry, and when they can have children. We could use the teleportation as a first step to rebuilding the Commonwealth. Lincoln reminded the Council that it is primary duty to protect the safety of the Vault residents. That the standard of living in the Vault, although far from ideal, is still higher than the living standards in the Wasteland and that opening the vault potentially better armed wastelanders threatens the vault's entire existence. A vote of council has been called for tomorrow. In addition, Councilman, uh, Councilman Lincoln has cast a vote on no confidence in Overseer Redding. The motion has received sufficient support from other council members to force a referendum vote on Redding's job as Overseer. Oh, 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 so here's a referendum, 316. So this is the next day. Uh, infiltrate deeper into the Vault Tech bunker. The purpose of the meeting is to decide whether the, uh, the decide the following issues: one, whether Sydney shall be released, detained, or executed; two, whether the Vault will will open trade with the Commonwealth; three, whether the full extent of the life on the surface will be revealed to the Vault residents. Or whether Redding or Lincoln will serve as overseer going forward. Prior to voting, both candidates shall be permitted to make brief statements. As a challenger, Councilman Lincoln shall speak first. Councilman Lincoln, we're going to make this vault something special again. We'll start by rejecting Elaine Redding's plan to allow wastelanders in and instead beef up our defenses. There are some real bad dudes out there in the wasteland, and we're going to keep them out. Let's be real, folks. In the Commonwealth, we are starting. Uh, we are to start sending their people here. They're not going to send their best. They'll send people who have lots of problems, and they'll bring those problems with them. They'll bring their chems. They'll bring their crime. They'll bring their rapists, and and some, I assume, are good people. What I'm proposing is a continued ban on Wastelanders entering the vault until our security forces can figure out what is going on. And the people support that. They want vault security and through vetting, thorough vetting. As the Overseer Redding, she sh uh, should be ashamed by, re uh, by her record, uh, record and submit her resignation for not calling the surface threat from raiders, super mutants, and others what it really is. Crooked Elaine has wasted a huge amount of the vault resources trying to implement a failed public transportation uh, transit system that will do nothing except steal jobs and expose us to crime. She has not done good, not done a good job. She's done. She's been a very bad overseer, and she's been very unfair. As a council who runs things, we should re, uh, relieve Elaine Redding of her duties. I mean, look at her right in that right in that smug, ugly face of her, and say, "Elaine, you're fired." Overseer Redding replied, "I think those comments speak to themselves. I won't I won't spend a moment wondering what Don Lincoln means, except to point out that every Don Lincoln sentence has words." <laughs> she just, oh, don't even. I, I don't know. I wasn't even listening. She was saying, sometimes three words or two. And they're great sentences, terrific sentences, that I can tell you, believe me, they're great, with the best words. Not every big, not very big words, but terrific repeated words. And maybe I'm getting under Lincoln's skin a little, a little bit, because I do have the support of the majority of the vault residents. But I assume, as council members, they're all smart enough to see the bigger picture. That trade and openness with the Commonwealth will make us prosperous. 
The council has heard the arguments and taken a vote, and the results are as follows. Councilman Lincoln shall assume control of Overseer immediately. Oh, so she lost out on that. The vault will remain closed to the Commonwealth. The status quo shall remain in effect with the respect of disclosing the existence of life on the surface. Sydney shall be executed. There being no further business, the meeting is adjourned. Whoa. Holy moly. 320-2282. So a few days later, attempt a coup. Overseer Lincoln has called his this emergency council meeting to decide the fate of the perpetrators of the failed uprising and reinstating Elaine Redding as overseer. Although Redding was has denied any involvement in the attempt at coup, she is being tried for treason along with the rest of the group. After several hours of de uh, deliberation, the council decided the following. While death is a suitable punishment for treason, the vault cannot afford reduction in gene pool diversity. The old animal research holding facility shall be converted to a prison. The conspirators of the coup, including Redding, shall be imprisoned there definitely, except in case where the vault's reproduction needs to take priority. Wow. Vault security will be overhauled, and the Vault Tech Recon Division shall here, uh, hereafter be known as Vault Tech Corporate Security, taking a more proactive approach to eliminating potential threats both in the Commonwealth and within the Vault. Public mention of life on the surface shall become an offense uh, offense of punishable by imprisonment. Oh, holy, that was a lot of reading. Uh, I apologize, guys, but that's I, I think that I, it was a very interesting um, to to kind of get a little bit of a deep dive into what was going on in this vault. Like this is like crazy going on holy moly let's um let's continue so i'm guessing this is going into the lobby we're being greeted whoa whoa this is amazing Vault Tech Rep Hologram. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. <laughs> it's Murray. Um, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. Not going to uh, <clears throat> take too much of your time. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, <laughs> total atomic annihilation. This is weird. <laughs> I can fear the gears of bureaucracy grinding me up already. I believe you, but I still need to answer. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. What? Flatter to hear this, but I uh, feel like there's more. Hmm. Yeah, I believe you, but I still need more. I need some answers. I believe you, but I still need answers. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Okay, what's really going on here? Okay, what's really going on here? What do you want from me? Why, nothing less than your entire future. Okay, sounds like nonsense to me. <laughs> Go after yourself, you crazy robot. Sometimes I think you're crazy. Um... <laughs> Sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense to me. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, did I not answer the right answers? <laughs> Apparently not. And Heather's not here. Oh, no, Heather is here. We leveled up off of this. Oh, oh. No, Heather. No, Heather, you're throwing it at me. Was that necessary? <laughs> she threw it right at me. All right, we've got a couple places that we can go. We got... Or no. Oh, I guess we just got to go up the stairs. 
I thought there was hallways this way and that way. I guess not. Oh. Are these... Oh, these are teleportation things. That's what they were talking about. Teleportation pad. We can open them? Okay, hold on. Let's do one thing quick. Let's, um, let's level up. I think we're gonna go into luck. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the four-leaf clover here. Uh, there we go. So now we can get into four-leaf clover next. Uh, let's... I want to try one of these. Okay, I'm just going to save quick, just in case this screws things up, but... Uh, it says close. Open, close, open, close. What does that mean? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> I thought it would do something. Do you have anything more to say? Hey. Good morning. vault calling. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they're using the teleportation to bring their protection in here. Is there another one down there? Heather? I hear him, but I don't know where he's at. Maybe behind this door here. I mean, this place looks amazing, by the way. Oh. Oh, there you are. I thought there was another one. Well, that was fun. Escape the prison. Oh no. Oh no is right. Oh my god. This uh, can't be happening. Oh this no, isn't I'm happening. completely naked too. <laughs> Let's get back in our our suit of armor here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Is there any way out of this? Okay, just breathe. Breathe. We got a bobby pin. What do we have for loot wise? We still have all Never our medicine. Mind. It's okay, hopeless. It's not hopeless. Let's just check around Shit. here. Shit. I give up. What do you don't give up? I need to find a way. Okay, we're gonna look. Oh, there's some more people over there. Ouch. Can't punch my way out. Rain? Maybe I just need to sleep. Wait, does that say drink? Need some water at least. Let's get our water full up. <coughs> hmm. I can't pick this door here, otherwise I would just pick it, but... Hmm. I'm not sure. To be honest with you, I don't know what to do here. Just checking around to see if there's anything... You, you might actually have to sleep. Nothing there. Okay, let's... Hmm. Well, I guess let's get out of the armor here quick. And what if we do sleep for like a couple hours, if that does anything? That trigger something. Hmm. Like they stripped everything. Like all our. I mean, they gave us our power armor, like chassis, but none of the power armor, which is really odd. I don't have a light on either. I mean, I do have my pit boy. I was thinking, you know, if there's something hidden somewhere. This is 
like one of those um, escape rooms. Like, there's nothing on the door. Okay, is there anything? Oh, there's some purified water. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. What does it say in terms of what we're supposed to do? It just says escape the prison cell and it says failed uh, for infiltrate the deeper into the vault. So if I select that, does that help? No. How do I escape if I... That's what I do. Sit in the chair. Let's just see if there's anything else we can interact with. Vegetable starch. Oh, oh, hold on. No, that's just a wooden block. Oh, can we get that? No. Eh. Knock on the door. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, knock down the door. Well, I mean, how else do we escape? Maybe I need to be out of my power armor to be able to do anything? No. I see other people over there. There's people in, there's, here, there's people all over. Oh, there's a security guard. Let's just see if sitting in a chair does anything. I mean, the only thing we can do is wait. Like, do we have to wait until we get, like, dinner or something? Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking, like, posters, if there's something there. I mean, the only thing I can think of is just to sleep and just let some time pass until we can maybe interact with someone. I don't know. Anything? Can't bust down the door with this. Whack! 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 Aww. Apparently, I'm not very good at escape rooms. <laughs> yeah, I am... not sure. I punched on the wall. Oh! I can punch the wall. Is there any other wall that I can, like, punch through? No, I'm just making marks on the wall. <laughs> no. There's got to be a secret to this. Like, there's got to be something. I didn't mean to get out of my power armor. Well, that made the some weird marks on the walls. Hmm. Is there a button? I mean, I don't know why there would be a button. It doesn't doesn't make any sense. Because you're in a holding cell, you would think that they don't want to have a button in here to... 
Maybe just sit and wait. Maybe, we, maybe not sleeping. Maybe just waiting. Wait a day. Someone? Oh no. We, we're literally stuck in here. Oh crap. Um... It's all over, guys. We failed. We've lost the game. We can't escape. <laughs> it's all over. We made the wrong move. I somehow, I went over to that door and that door just put me... I got no guns. Like, right? I have no ammo or no weapons. No. I've got nothing. I got silver, uh, the silver submachine gun, <laughs> prop gun. Hmm. There's gotta be something. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna grab all this stuff. I don't know why. Maybe something happens when you grab it all. <laughs> nope. What? Can I... I can hit the door. Oh, here, I hit this one. Knock the, knock the handle off. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take a pause right here, and I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to get out of here. There's got to be a way. I just got to figure it out. So give me give me a minute to see what I can do, and I'll bring you guys back in once I figure it out. All right, guys. I discovered something. <laughs> this is actually a weapon. A tactical barbell. I was not seeing that as a weapon. Does this do anything? Yeah, I've got a weapon yeah. now. Holy crap. Yeah. See, can I... Can I do anything with it then? Oh! Whoa! Is this doing something? Oh, we're through. We're through, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, let's drink. Let's have some minute noodles. And what are we on? We need a little bit of water. Oh, wow. I did not expect that at all. I was thinking that we were going to have to like talk to someone and talk our way out of this, but we need to get our armor back. Okay, how do we... I guess we can bust through the back wall here. Maybe on another. Maybe this through this wall? Oh yeah, I think we can go through this one. Oh yeah. Can we go through any others, though? I don't think so. I was thinking if we could find some other weapons or something. Apparently brick walls we can't get through, but we can get through steel metals, uh, steel metal walls. <laughs> okay, we're we're going this direction. It kind of sucks that we don't have any. Uh, kill the guards. And, okay, get your stuff back. Okay, we gotta be quiet. Whoa! No one knows. Oh, who's shooting at what? Nope, come on. Get him. Oh, God. We're going to die. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, weapons. We got an assault rifle. Okay, we can take a breather here for a second. Let's heal up. 
I know I'm parched. Oh god. Oh god. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let's grab our tactical barbell weapon. I just don't have any... Like, weapon... Okay, maybe, you know, I could probably use vats, and that would probably be a lot better. All right, let's do this again. Food, uh, minute noodles. There we go, properly fed. We'll take the... We're still thirsty. I guess I'll drink one water. You know, we, I guess I do have the ability to bring Heather in. <laughs> We could just teleport Heather back in here and she can just start taking everybody out, right? We do have that teleportation device. Okay, we're instead of going this direction. Uh, one second here. I've got explosives. Let's go this direction first. Come on, hold on. Yeah, we can do crits. Come on, one more. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't... Oh, we're getting shot. This isn't good. Uh, weapon. Switch this over. Uh, actually, we're gonna put that on one. We'll put this on two. Oh, we can't put this on because we have the power armor. Can we stealth, boy? Oh, God. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to end the episode here. And uh, the reason why I'm going to end it here is because I think this is going to be a really awesome next episode. And I hope you guys are going to come back and watch that next episode because I think it's going to be a lot of deaths <laughs> starting off until we can get our armor back and uh, we can start really doing some damage. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Also, don't forget to check out the Discord. The information about that is down in the description below. Also, thank you to all my patrons and all my supporters over on YouTube. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for supporting me. If you want to help support me, I do have a join button as well as a Patreon. Go check those links out down in the description below. Also, I, if you want to support me other ways, I do have some affiliate links. One is an Amazon affiliate link. I do earn a commission on every time you make a purchase through uh, using that link as well as on Zydax because Zydax is an amazing company. They have some amazing systems. Highly, highly recommend taking a look at them if you're looking to build a, uh, get a brand new system. Uh, they just they ha they do some incredible work. Plus, they have some crazy warranties, so I highly recommend it. Also, I like I mentioned earlier uh, in the beginning of the episode, I am looking to do an upgrade to my current system. And if you want to help out, I do have a tip section down below. Uh, you're not obligated to do it. Just if anybody feel you know generous enough to uh, to help me out, that would be uh, much appreciated. But um, you guys just being here and hanging out with me. Um, is, is and hitting the like button, sharing the videos is, is plenty enough. So thank you guys again. I hope you guys all have an absolutely incredible day and we'll see you guys next time.